Hey guys, it's Green Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode two of Forbidden Deductions. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. All right, who the heck died today? <laughs> That's so sad to say, though. But you gotta know. Oh, damn, a woman. Or is this an old, like, before he met Wes's face? Yeah. Because look at him. He, he too pretty right now. He is still once again too fucking pretty, but like I said, I, I love his his hair like that. He looked good. He looked too damn good. I'm sorry. That's a weakness for me. Yes, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. I still can't with the cat. <laughs> Once again, I, you know, I love how we're getting the cutesy, wholesome, like, <laughs> upbeat music opening with this show, even though I don't think it's going to be like this every single, oh, damn, every single week. The fact that he stopped him. Oh my god, that's so cute! Stop it! My god! Sir, you're, you're now like obsessed with lock rooms like Shinigami from Ring Code. <laughs> we can't have that. <laughs> we need Yuma. <laughs> Oh, sad day. <laughs> yeah, speak up. I mean, yeah, bruh. I mean, Ron, what you think was going to happen? Yeah, see, now this is definitely giving me, like, hella raincoat vibes. I mean, if you haven't played raincoat, just know. I'm gonna try not to spoil. I'm, like, almost done playing the game myself. <laughs> okay, I wonder how that's gonna go. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's talk to Amelia. The woman, right? Yeah. And let me guess, you like her too? <laughs> My money is him. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I need, I need her to stop on me. <laughs> like, are you serious? Girl, come on. Poor Ishke. Huh. See if I can take my earrings out. I like totally rather than me. No, no, let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he did say <laughs> he was going to use disguises, so don't be surprised. <laughs> the kitty. But the cat is lazy, too. No, sleep. <laughs> we talked about this last time. Oh, oh my god, Ron, no! It's cute. Okay, then someone either between the two of you, your sister maybe went somewhere, came home, stole the money. That is weird, though.
them is clearly lying, and it has to be the older sister. Why would the younger sister do it? Well, no, because see, at the same time, the younger sister has to be just as suspicious as the older. You wanted to hear how much was in there. No, oh, not the piggy bank. Can't we just open a hole and just take it all out? There might be fingerprints on them. So, anything from, you know, fingerprints? So, whose fingerprints were there? Yeah. Stop. Oh my God. It's so mean. I just love. <laughs> Right here, I cannot. <laughs> you want him to figure everything out now, and uh, we don't have enough info. No, but I think it does, though. Thank you. But there has to be a way. Switch it. Mm -hmm. Why though? What did you need the money for? You need it for something, clearly. True, yes, but you didn't. So you killed him. Yeah. 
it, oh, it was self-defense in a way. Mm -hmm. You ran to the store, bought the new bank. But then the question is, why wasn't there blood on the fucking suitcase? Did they get easy? No, it's true. She's denying it all. <sighs> because if it would have continued on, you would have been dead. Time out. No, 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 no. Don't let her die because of the fact is of what she did. Girl. <laughs> we can't have time. <laughs> we don't have time to fall in love with him. Somebody stop her, please. I mean, you know what? At least cover his eyes. Stop her. Girl, like a damn linebacker. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Exactly. We can't tell you. I mean, well, of course she would fall in love with him, because goddamn. I mean, once again, his eyes, gorgeous. <laughs> He, he is, but I think that's the one thing we love about him.
He would be in here. He would be in here. What is going on? Is everybody from JJK in this? But on, do y'all want to hunt him for the rest of this damn series? Why did I guess right? <laughs> I should have guessed wrong. Now, okay. Once again, the dynamic between Ron and Ichigi is it, super freaking adorable. I love the fact that, yes, he is training Ichigi into becoming, you know, a better detective. Once again, it gives me Detective Conan vibes and Rain Code vibes and such. This episode, especially with the case going back into Rain Code, but without giving, like, big spoilers. It has been a couple of months since Rain Code has come out and such. But even still now, a lot of people are getting into it. So... Chapter or case? I'm on case five as of right now, even though I haven't played it in about a good couple of weeks. But case the one, the two cases are the one case that broke me was the case of the three girls. It was a. Uh, all I'll say is this: this is how it goes. So, this it was four girls. One girl passes away due to an accident and such. And so these three girls think um, this girl was the one who killed their best friend. And it, long story short, it's like a basic revenge story. But at the same time, it's very tragic and sad. So I can't really go into details on that chapter without really spoiling the whole chapter of what happens. But it is one of those cases that really, truly broke the heck out of me because I was like, oh my God, this ish is super duper sad and very depressing because I think we've all been in those moments where it's like we have those friends or like family members who were our quote unquote, the shining grace, our light, our, our light. And if they're not here anymore, then why is my life still worth living and such? And sometimes... In those moments and times of needs, that's when you really need people who are your, like, not only your friends and family, but, like, a part of your support team to be there for you in those times of needs and such. And so, once again, without going too heavily into spoilers, um, these girls were the only ones that they had. And at the same time, they were always still feeling some type of way about this one girl. But when you learn the truth on why this all happens, and you really look at chapter... Um, or case three as like a really depressing case and such. But from what people have told me without getting spoilers, case five is also as depressing and I'm not ready to experience that case, even though I have not played it, like I said, in a couple of weeks. But yeah, like this was sweet and still emotional with the thing because of course it's because of the fact is one, due to a stalker moment between um, the older sister and her stalker, Everything would have, could have been avoided if, you know, this is that and the third. But at the same time, she is lucky that she wasn't the one who ended up dead. Yes, he would have gone to jail probably for the rest of his life because, you know, murder is murder. But for her, it is still murder, but it is self-defense because she was trying to protect herself. So hopefully she does get let off with, you know, maybe time without bail or something um, who knows, she might be in jail for at least a good couple of years or so. Then she gets out for like, you know, hey, lucky, whatever, or just like, you know, because her do she's doing whatever. And then she gets to live a life, but she will always be known as that woman who killed her stalker in self-defense and such. And, you know, maybe a lot of her friends and family members don't really want to associate herself with, um, their subs with them. But who really knows? But yeah, like, in the emotional standpoint, it was good. I didn't think... 
that it was due to, yeah, she was trying to kill her stalker. I'm thinking it's because she needed money for something else and that she was hiding it from her younger sister. Because I was like, yeah, it's a little weird that there's a suitcase and your sister just got home and now the, you know, the piggy bank ain't full anymore. Little weird, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really good. Oh my god. But once again, the dynamic between these two boys. We love, 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 love. I love how Ron, like, instantly got excited. Um, and scaring the shit out of Ishiki. Not once, but freaking twice. <laughs> in this episode. So I'm really hoping that we do get moments like that in the next up and coming weeks. But this is very wholesome and sweet. I really loved it a lot. But... Other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode two of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode three. Bye, guys.